Number 3. An easy way to make an object follow a curve. For example, if you have a curve and a cube in your geometry nodes and you want to make the cube follow the curve in a nice way, what we can do is we can actually sample this curve here, drag it out, sample curve, and then we can actually get the position value. And what we can do with that is we can hit Shift A and find the set position for the cube. And we can actually turn our position from the sample curve to the position for the cube. Now the cube will disappear because it will actually spawn all the points to the curve position, which means all the corners and stuff to one location, which will overlap everything. So what we can do instead is just turn our mesh to instance, so find our geometry to instance, connect it here, and that way we can even Shift A, find a um, rotate instance node, edit after the set position, and then we can actually rotate our cube along the tangents of the curve. Shift A, align rotation to vector, align rotation to vector, add the tangent to the vector, connect the rotation to the rotation, and here we go. Now the position on the curve is defined by the vector value of your sample curve. So a zero is the left point, the starting point of your curve, one is the right point. If I crank the vector up, it will actually move our cube along the curve. You could play around with the actual rotation axis, for example, X will just lock it nicely in that direction, right? And it will follow the curve beautifully, no matter how this curve is rotated, for example, it will follow it nicely.